Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Booth, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Booth Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So let's open and let's thank the football gods here on this Friday morning. And we have some breaking news this morning. Let's okay, we have some breaking news this morning. Jerry Jones apparently has had an epiphany and has decided that he is going to step away from being GM of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, what we've kind of, uh, we believe that this is kind of like what happened um, back last August. Um, at training camp where he thought about what had happened with Jimmy Johnson. Let's go to the clip real quick. Come to my mind, we had a great run of it. Uh, he's a great coach, and I'm uh, proud to have him as a friend and proud to have had the times that we had. We, we, uh, we just had a great experience. Can you answer Switzer's question now? What? Do you think you can answer Barry's question now? I've never, I've never been able to know why. Uh, I fucked it up. That, not just that, but anything else. <laughs> no, I can't answer those questions. He fucked it up. Um, we're hearing that there will be a press conference later on today um, going into the details of it, but Jerry Jones apparently realized that he has been fucking up for the last 26 years. And finally, Bobby Wagner signing with the Los Angeles Rams for the same identical deal, actually not quite as good as the deal they made a couple of years ago with Jalen Smith was finally the thing that made him realize, my God, what are we doing? In fact, listening to former Dallas Cowboys greats like Michael Irvin, who literally let him know, Jerry, it just ain't right. There's no way you can say this team is better. It's what area are you trying to get better in? On the football field or in the financial salary cap area? What area has been the dominant thought here? And obviously, it's been the salary cap. So we can't say that they're getting any better on the football field. Let's listen to that one more time. There's no way you can say this team is better. It's what area are you trying to get better in? On the football field or in the financial salary cap area? What area has been the dominant thought here? And obviously, it's been the salary cap. So we can't say that they're getting any better on the football field. So we don't have all of the details yet. I'm sure that everything will be filled in in the press conference coming later on this afternoon. But it's believed that Will McClay will now be head of the Dallas Cowboys, taking full control of being the GM. Jerry Jones realizes that he's tired of bullshitting the Cowboy fans and telling us that everything is perfect, that they decided on good old things like Randy Gregory, that they got him on the phone like Randy Gregory literally was begging Jerry Jones, please, please take this deal, Jerry, please, please, come on. And he said, hey, you know what, son, I'm going to El Paso that one right now. Also, we're hearing that Stephen Jones will no longer be officially cat boy. And Jerry Jones realizes he made a mistake in hiring his son to be the head of operations, and he will no longer be allowed anywhere near any player contracts in the very near future. His other son, Jerry Jones, uh, Ju excuse me, Junior. Um, nobody knows exactly what he does, but he will no longer be doing that as well. So this is going to be a big shift on everything that's going through. Also, Mike McCarthy will be allowed to actually coach the Dallas Cowboys. He will have full autonomy to decide what plays are called as well as the players that the Dallas Cowboys will be getting and will no longer be cutting off at the knees and will be allowed to leave his office and go on field trips with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, along with that, ticket prices will be going down. The Dallas Cowboys will be reducing prices by 25%. 
uh, to try and take care of the fans. Jerry Jones put it that he has bamboozled the fans long enough, and it's time to start caring about what the Dallas Cowboy fans actually feel. And what they've been feeling lately is a lot of anger. So Jerry Jones also went on to say that immediately the very opening game that Jimmy Johnson will be put into the ring of honor writing the wrong that he made some 28 years ago. So this is what we have this morning, guys. This is earth shattering. Maybe this is all because of the lawsuit that happened yesterday, maybe having to hear what's gone on over the last 26 years uh, with his alleged daughter has kind of opened up his eyes to many, many things and is ready to make changes that will actually get the Dallas Cowboys to a Super Bowl. Will all this work? I don't know, but I think in some regard, you need to let the people who know football run and take care of football. And if they're unable to do it, get somebody else who does. Figuring that we can just do all of this stuff ourselves, starting out as an oil man, and I still don't know what the engineering degree for Stephen Jones has to do with running a football organization. And, of course, with the Cowboys, it's funny that somehow the team that doesn't really dive into free agency never has any money to spend on free agents. Whereas teams like the Rams, the Rams somehow, with only $7 million, find a way, hmm, find a way to sign Bobby Wagner. Huh. Somehow, the Dallas Cowboys are paying more for Mari Cooper this season than the Cleveland Browns who are actually playing him. And I think all of these things weighed on Jerry Jones and realized, what the hell are we doing? We're America's team. We're the Dallas Cowboys. We used to be trendsetters. We used to lead the league in innovation. We used to be the team you always had to fear. Now, what are the Dallas Cowboys? That's where Jerry Jones woke up this morning and decided change is going to come. With that being said, y'all, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Our coach here, as always, I want to thank oh. you all for what. One other thing, too. Shout out to everybody who has donated to our GoFundMe. We are closing in on $5,000 raise for Faith Fight Finish, and tomorrow we will be giving um, Dak Prescott's charity, that $5,000, when we get over the $5,000, um, from you guys, as well as presenting Dak with a great plaque for a great cause. And if you do want to be part of it, try and do it before I'm going to extend it till two o'clock after two o'clock, I'm going to do the carvings with all the names of all the people who donated onto it, onto the back of it. So that way we have it done for Dak. And that being said, let's roll on out. Our coach here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. a great coach and I'm uh, proud to have him as a friend and proud to have had the times that we had. We we uh, we just had a great experience. Can you answer Switch's question now? What? You can answer Barry's question now? I've never, I've never been able to know why. Uh, I thought you'd done. That, not just that, but anything else. <laughs> no, I can't answer that.